It's fall, so we're making pumpkin pie with a face because it's cute. You're watching The Icing Artist. To make this cake, I started off with an eight inch square cake. I know that pumpkin pies aren't a square shape, but we're gonna be carving it in a very tricky and smart way. We're gonna be carving straight from the center to the one corner and cutting down, and that's gonna give us like three kind of triangles. Now you join the two triangles that are on the edges together and then layer that up with my buttercream icing. And I'm gonna stagger the joints, making sure I have a layer on top that is not joined in the middle. I carved down a little bit on each edge just to make it more of that pumpkin pie shape. I then carved my cake down on the back on an angle and kind of rounded it over because we're pretending that this cake was actually baked in a pie tin. Once I was done with that, it was time to crumb coat this cake with my buttercream icing. And while I crumb coat this cake, I wanna say a big thank you to Storyblocks for sponsoring this video. Storyblocks is a website that gives you guys access to millions of high-res images, kind of like the ones that you see in the background of today's video. Thanks, Storyblocks. They are giving away seven days free for everybody to try it out, so make sure to stay tuned right to the end of this video to find out more. Now to cover our cake and fondant, I just rolled out some pumpkin pie shaded fondant that I colored with orange and golden yellow food coloring. Once that was rolled out, I just rolled that back of my rolling pin and back over my cake. I quickly smoothed that out with my hands. This was a really, really awkward shaped cover. I swear, probably one of the more difficult shapes I had because of the fact that it has three edges. How do you smooth together three edges perfectly? Well, I smoothed out the first one with my hands and kind of just pushed that in, but with the back edges, I pinched it together on the corners and then I just trimmed that down with a knife. Because we're gonna be putting crust on the back, you're not even gonna see that joint. I used two fondant smoothers just to really sharpen up those edges. So I feel like a slice of pumpkin pie, if you cut right through the pumpkin pie, you'd have like really sharp edges. And then just trimmed off the excess fondant. And for the pie crust, which is arguably the best part of a pie, I love pie crust. I rolled out some really thick, dark ivory fondant. I then picked up my fondant and placed that onto a cake board which seems really weird, but I feel like it's gonna make more sense in a minute. I then slid a cake lifter underneath my cake and really tried to carefully pick it up and put it down on my fondant. That was terrifying and probably one of the more difficult things that I've done. I swear this cake is full of little challenges, but like so far so good. I then trimmed the back of the fondant so there was just enough to come right up the pie slice and wet the fondant so that we would stick together. Just used my fondant smoother to make sure that was nice and smooth and stuck, and then used a very sharp paring knife just to trim down. I love this part. For the crust, I used my fondant and just rolled it out into a thick log, and then twisted those two halves together to make this beautiful pie crust twist. Would never probably do that with pastry, but with fondant, it worked great. I just wet that a little bit and then stuck that right on my cake, and I am loving the way this cake is looking. To make this slice of pumpkin pie extra cute, we're gonna be doing a kawaii face on it. So I cut out two little black circles for its eyes and then added little white dots to those circles so it looks super cartoony and kawaii. And then made little rosy cheeks and a little smile. Ah, oh, it looks adorable. And of course, no pumpkin pie is a pumpkin pie without a big dollop of whipped cream right on top. And that's it, we are done. This would be the perfect dessert for Thanksgiving, which is coming up, so maybe that's an idea. And of course, I wanna say a big thank you again to Storyblox for sponsoring this video. I love my new pictures that I got from their website. They have thousands of images, vectors, icons, and more. You guys are definitely wanna check it out. You guys can download anything from 400,000 images in their member library and save up to 60% on Marketplace content. You guys could use their images for so many different things like building a website or, you know, making great images for your home. And they're giving away seven days free just for you guys to try it out, get access to a massive variety of high resolution images and more from Storyblocks. So click up the link in the description box below and get started downloading today. Storyblocks, you guys are awesome. And of course, as always guys, don't forget to come back here again next week so we can make something else into cake. Bye guys.